Hello, library friends. This is Librarian Hillary. I am from Washburn, and I miss my library so much. Do you guys miss your library? I bet you do. Well, today we're going to be doing a story time, and I'm going to be doing a few stories with food in them. So I thought I'd start with one of my favorite library songs. All of the Washburn guys know it, but I'm going to teach it to all of you, too. And it's called Five Brown Buns in a Bakery Shop. Are you guys ready? Can you get out your buns? Five brown buns in a bakery shop. Five brown buns with lots of sugar on the top. Along came a man with a penny in his hand. He got one bun and away he ran. How many buns are left? Shall we count them? One, two, three, four. Four brown buns in a bakery shop. Four brown buns with lots of sugar on the top. Along came a woman with a penny in her hand. She got one bun and away she ran. How many buns are left? two, three. Three brown buns in a bakery shop. Three brown buns with lots of sugar on the top. Along came a boy with a penny in his hand. He got one bun and away he ran. How many buns are left? That's right, two. Two brown buns in a bakery shop. Two brown buns with lots of sugar on the top. Along came a girl with a penny in her hand. She got one bun and away she ran. How many buns are left? One. One brown bun in a bakery shop. One brown bun with lots of sugar on the top. Along came a fox with a penny in its hand paw. It grabbed one bun and away it ran. How many buns are left? That's right, zero. Zero brown buns in a bakery shop. Zero brown buns with lots of sugar on the top. Along came the librarian with a penny in her hand. But there were no buns, so away she ran. You notice how I didn't touch my face when I did that? Yeah. All right. We're going to be doing one of our stories. Our first story is going to be My Lucky Day by Keiko Kaja. And it is about a fox. You ready? All right, let's begin. One day, a hungry fox was preparing for dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock on the door. Hey, Rabbit! Came the sound from the door. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I would have eaten them for breakfast. But when the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no! said the piglet. Oh yes, said the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and he hauled him inside. You see him hauling him in? This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking at the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go! Let me go! Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast! And you are going to be the main course. Now get in the pan. 
it was useless to struggle. All right, said the pig, only. Only what? Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm kind of filthy. Shouldn't you wash me a bit first? Hmm, thought the fox. He is kind of filthy. So the fox got busy. He gathered some wood. He started a fire. He pulled some buckets. And he made the pig a wonderful, glorious bath. Ooh, said the pig. You are a terrific scrubber. <laughs> said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in the county. Stay still now. <gasps> All right, said the pig. But, but what? Well, I'm a very, very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up a little bit more? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, thought the fox. He is a little on the small side. So the fox got busy. He gathered tomatoes. He started making spaghetti. He started baking cookies. Finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. <gasps> you are a terrific cook, Mr. Fox. There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in the county and the fattest one. Stay still now. <gasps> All right. I will, but... But what, said the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig. Don't I look awfully tough? Maybe you should massage me a little bit to get a softer roast. Hmm fox. I do appreciate a soft roast. So the fox got busy. He squeezed and he pulled and he massaged. He squeezed and pounded the piglet from head to toe. Woo! said the piglet. You give a terrific massage. But I've been awfully tense lately, Mr. Fox. Oh, oh, could you get it to the left? Maybe a little to the right? Oh, the back, my back is killing me. Mr. Fox? Mr. Fox? But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, much less a roasting pan. Oh, poor Mr. Fox, said the pig. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. <gasps> oh, he said, what a dinner, what a bath, what a massage. This must be my lucky day. And later, when the piglet was at home, he looked at his book to figure out who should I visit next. He'd already crossed off the fox and the coyote, and he was looking at the bear and the wolf. Mmm, somebody's going to have another lucky day. All right, we're going to end with a puppet show because at Washburn Library, puppet shows were my thing to do with my group. Now, one of the things that's great when you're telling a story like this is you can do stories with all kinds of props. You can use toys, you can use whatever, and when you make a prop and you tell a story together, you and your child are studying narrative skills. You're figuring out how to tell a story of your own. Plus, it's always fun to talk about baking stuff, right? Now, 
this story has a gingerbread man. So can you guys say, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Let's try it together. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Once there was a gingerbread man baking in a gingerbread pan with raisin eyes and cherry lips trimmed right down to his fingertips, a gingerbread man in a gingerbread pan. Here's the young woman who made him so sweet, a treat for her and her boyfriend to eat. She made him with sugar and flour and eggs. She gave him two arms, two eyes, and two legs. She opened the oven to see if it was done. But the gingerbread man, he knew how to run. Out the oven and to the floor, he ran right out that kitchen door. The gingerbread man is out of the pan. Now chase him, young woman. Now chase him, young man. All right. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Along came a cow who wanted a treat. Moo! And the gingerbread man, he looked good to eat. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Along came a horse. Who wanted a treat. And the gingerbread man, he looked good to eat. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Along came a fox who wanted a treat, and the gingerbread man, he looked good to eat. Hey, said the fox to the cookie when they met, you can ride on the river and you won't get wet. Just jump on my back. <gasps> a ride on the river could be lots of fun, and the poor gingerbread cookie was tired from his run. So on the back, the cookie did go, and what happens next? Well, you already know. The fox had himself a delicious treat. <laughs> and the young man and the young woman had nothing to eat. Aww. Not one bite was left for the animals, too. Not one for me or one for you. So, let's go get ourselves another gingerbread pan. We'll bake ourselves another gingerbread man. And when he's done, we'll make some more. Just be careful to shut that door or the gingerbread man will be out of the pan. Oh! Now, I think that we should also talk about, isn't it fun to go baking with your family and doing all kinds of cookies and other kinds of things this time? Uh, but. Remember that a lot of your moms and dads are working too, and they need a little time. So if you want to be able to have a story read to you, on the library site, there's something called Tumble Books. And get your parents' permission, but you can have like a picture book read to you by the library, and that can be a way of doing that. Please be sure to come back to our Fate Library's Facebook page every Tuesday and Thursday. We all miss you something terrible, but it gives us joy to know that we can still connect over story time. Thank you so much for coming to join us. We love you. Bye-bye.